Let me take you through my personal experience about my stay in China. China spanning well over 3,000 years is the world's oldest civilization. Whilst on a tour in China, it is impossible to miss any historical site, in any place or at any given time. Everything built from the pre-industrial age has both a complex and interesting story just waiting to be discovered. From the Great Wall all the way to the natural beauty of Mount Tai that opens its doors to tourists to experience the God-given nature of China. Throughout the country, there are also countless temples adhering to Buddhist, Taoist, and Confucius thought principles, not to mention mosques, churches, and in rare historical cases, synagogues. The China of today is based off a unitary one-party socialist republic. However, throughout the near entirety of the nation's history, it had been led by a series of successive dynasties ruled by an emperor. The people of China are without a doubt one of the friendliest and welcoming people around the world. Be it in a mall or on a train, people both old and young are always ready to talk and extend a helping hand. They will ask questions like where are you from and the purpose of your visit to China. The people in China value friendship. Because I am from Africa, I thought I would be discriminated against because of the color of my skin. But it was never like that. Throughout my stay in China, not once did I experience discrimination. I met many people from Europe, mainly during my stay, and they enjoyed living in China as much as I did. The preference boils down to darker skin in Chinese culture, equating it to peasantry. The Chinese people value status, and they want to be seen by others in their society as financially stable. The people in China did not receive much influence from the outside world, so their thinking is incredibly straightforward. China is incredibly affordable and super easy to travel around. Public infrastructure puts the West to shame. Tickets for a high-speed train can take you over 1,000 kilometers in the space of merely 4 hours. Cheaper tickets, such as the slow train, range from 15 to 40 United States dollars, depending on the option, making budget incredibly flexible when it comes to spending money. Metro tickets are priced at around 20 cents, and taxes cost no more than 4 United States dollars to take you the distance of around 4 kilometers. Your safety in China is guaranteed. Security is incredibly stringent with X-ray checks and metro stations and train stations for baggage. The first thing you need to know about China is that security is high. In China, the moment you step foot at the airport, you have to give your fingerprints. After that, you are allowed to enter the country. Also, every time you will use the train, your bags will be scanned, sometimes even your bottle of water. And do not forget, there are cameras everywhere in the city. With all that being said, now you realize that China is a safe country.
The people living in China are addicted to technology. Everybody had a phone in their hands all the time while walking, running, in trains, literally everywhere. Also everything worked with a QR code. Nobody asked for your number in China. Instead they asked for your QR code. The old days are gone, my friends. Also when using public transportation, you scan the QR code. China is famous for using lots of apps. But the main app that you definitely should have to survive, that you should have to survive in China, is WeChat. WeChat is everything in one app. You use it to chat with people. Use it as your business contact. Use it to pay for the purchases you make and many other things. I still have to figure out. There is no Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram or Google in China. Instead, there is WeChat, so you better install it before going there. But you can still access everything if you get a VPN. You can get access to a VPN as I did, which you can cancel within a month and get refunds. But keep it in mind that sometimes it may not work. It also has a 7-day free trial if you plan to stay only for a week in China, or you get 30 days free usage if your friend installs it as well and you both can use it. I'm usually very picky when it comes to food and cannot really eat too much of spicy food. But surprisingly, I loved the food in China. It was delicious even though I did not know every time what I ate. During my few days in China, I became a fan of dumplings and noodles. And no, I did not eat rice all the time. Just try as many foods as you can. Beijing is known for the Beijing dog, so do not forget to try that out as well. If you come from a country where traffic rules are always strictly respected, you may find China a little bit crazy. China is very chaotic at times. People cross the street when they feel like doing so. Cars will not stop for you. Neither will motorcycles. I also realized that even when the traffic light is red, the cars still have the right to drive if they are turning to the right, so keep that in mind. To me, the hectic life of China was not that surprising. Actually, I had started to miss that kind of life. But you can also find the fastest train in the world in Beijing, Shandong province, which travels at 301 kilometers. Give it a try. Within 10 minutes, you will be in the airport. Did you know that in China you can find the second tallest building in the world? That is the Shanghai Tower, 632 meters tall. The tower is surrounded by other skyscrapers and the view is just amazing. You can find skyscrapers also in Beijing. And here comes the best parts of China, its culture and its people. I love the people in China. They are so kind and positive. You could see them dancing in the street and enjoying each other's company. They would dance in groups or with partners. If you want to learn some Chinese moves, try to join them as I did. They looked so carefree and happy. Also, they really liked meeting foreigners. If you are from Africa and you climb the Great Wall of China, be prepared to be asked many times for photos. People just want to have a picture with you. They also give many compliments. I took more compliments in my few days in China than I have ever taken in the entire year. Sometimes they may even hug and kiss you. It is really cute. But this is something I noticed mostly in Beijing. 
Also, Chinese are always ready to help you in one way or the other. Something else you need to keep in mind is that not everybody knows English in China, or they do not speak it too well. So be prepared to use signs. Rounding up this documentary, to Africa, China can serve as a mediator, assisting African countries in uniting, respecting each other's differences, and improving the continent collectively. Throughout the festival, numerous people expressed the importance of unity within a country and across the continent. Africa looks to China for inspiration. In this regard, China's modernization and aspirations for a human community with a shared future offers powerful inspirations for African nations who commend China's successes in forging a brighter future. China and Africa's cooperation and partnership can be an example for other countries worldwide. The festival facilitated communication, fostered new partnerships, and introduced Chinese culture to African youth delegate through various workshops. This celebration invited young people from across Africa to experience community and togetherness in a space of mutual respect and appreciation. The festival is effective because it aims to help young people understand each other's cultures and participate in an international community that uplifts rather than tears each other down. In conclusion, this year's youth festival made me realize that China and Africa shares a desire for community, both nationally and globally. Stereotypes, misconceptions, and lack of tolerance can prevent countries from forming successful partnerships internationally. China-Africa cooperation sets an example for other nations, giving me hope that one day all countries will achieve mutual respect, support the development of others despite their differences, and leave the Cold War mentality behind. Thank you.